I have done hours and hours and hours of shopping, so you don't have to. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to dive right in because I am so excited to share my finds. These are fashion finds, spring shopping, some of it summer, all from Nordstrom. Nordstrom is sponsoring this video by the way. I ordered tons of clothes. I shopped for hours and hours and hours. I ordered boxes and boxes and boxes of clothes and I finally narrowed it down to a top 20 list that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you're looking for these statement pieces for spring to really elevate your wardrobe, take it up a notch, add a little excitement and freshness to your wardrobe, maybe you have a trip coming up, these are the pieces you wanna to look to. Now, these are not basics. So I wanna just say that again, these are not basics. So if you don't already have your basics, that's where you need to start. I do give out free wardrobe basics checklists when you subscribe to my newsletter. There's always a link in the description box. So be sure to subscribe to get those freebie checklists. These pieces are like the fun, the sparkle, the exciting, the bold, the colorful. Let's get started. The first piece I wanted to show you and start out with is a pair of Ula Johnson pants. They are incredibly high rise. They're actually denim. It's not quite white. It's more of an off-white or beigey, almost has a yellowy hue to it. It's more of an ivory tone. But they're a really flattering, gorgeous, cool pair of jeans. They come up super high, so if you don't like high rise, probably not the pair of jeans for you, but I happen to love high rise. These pants are just so cool. I love the belted tie waist detail. I love that it highlights the waist. I love how it lengthens the legs. This is just such a fabulous pair of pants to wear all spring, summer, and then of course on a trip. You can pair them with a bralette if you're feeling very risque, or you could do a silky shell, you could do a tank top, you could do a white tee. I paired it with just a silk v-neck shell. I love this shell by the way. And then a pair of wedges that I'm going to talk about in a minute that is also one of my favorites on the list. Top 20. The second piece is a dress by Free People. I am going to the Bahamas in March. I'm taking my sister. I always envision like something flowy and billowy and fresh and lovely that I can grab, right? That I can buy and bring. This dress to me is like the perfect vacation dress. But don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be wearing this all summer too. It just has so much flow and movement. It's just so free and lovely. And it is a lot of fabric, so that's something to consider. But you could always cinch it with a waist belt or you could try a little crop jacket or shrug jacket over it. You can't really wear a regular bra with this dress, but don't worry about that. Just wear it over a bralette or a pretty bra or a tank or a tee. Don't get hung up on the whole strap thing. Like just, this is meant to be like a free boho kind of style dress. Okay, so now let's talk about these shoes. These C by Chloe wedges. This is my top pick, number three. These wedges I've actually had in a different color for a very long time. I think the first time I bought them was like four years ago. If you are petite and you like to add height, especially on vacation when you're wearing shorts or you're wearing shorter dresses or skirts, these shoes are amazing at lengthening your legs. They literally add four or over four inches. Yeah, they add a lot of height. But what's so amazing about them is that they do have this white rubbery bottom, so they are quite cushiony and comfortable. Sometimes Chloe's shoes could be topsy-turvy if it's like that hard espadrille sole, but these are cushiony. I love that about them. I also love the ankle strap that keeps you secure, and then the strap across the toes. It's just a really flattering pair of sandals, but the key here is they add incredible height without sacrificing comfort. You can still walk in them, you can still walk in them and feel very comfortable. I love these wedges so much, so I have them in a couple of colors, this colorway and also in black. The next piece I wanna highlight is actually a necklace. It's by a line that I recently discovered and had not heard of before. I have no idea how to pronounce the name. It's like Ali Gieri. <laughs> here it is right here. This necklace is really beautiful and quite luxe looking. It is 24 karat gold plated. It does have a freshwater pearl. And I just love that it has like kind of a chunkier chain detail on the chain. And then it has the pearl and the gold charm as well. I feel like this is a necklace I'll wear all spring, summer for sure. It's a wonderful necklace to layer and actually I've already layered it before. Just a great everyday necklace, but also it's not so basic in the sense that that 
pearl and that gold charm really does give it some pop and some interest. So I feel like it's that elevated basic that I always talk about. And this will be a heavy hitter. You'll wear it daily. You'll love it. Next, I wanted to show you a pair of Key sunglasses. Key being an Australian line. I absolutely love this line of sunglasses because they are modern and fresh and cool, but also at a great price point. And mostly the line is under $100. They are quite durable and quite nice quality. But I love the shape of these. I love how they have the mirrored lens. I love the, the brown rims. They're just a really elegant, glamorous pair of sunglasses. And I'm gonna show you another pair of higher end sunglasses in just a minute. Also with this look, you can see I have a really lovely beach tote and it looks pretty basic when you first glance at it, but it's actually not. It's got a gold thread woven through it that gives it a little bit of a sheen. So when you look up close, it does have this sparkle. It also is packable, which is great if you're going on a trip and you need something just elegant and lovely that you can throw into your suitcase. This is gonna take up no room at all. I love the leather brown straps and I love the colorway too. It's just very neutral and it will pretty much go with anything that you pack in your suitcase for anything this spring, summer season. It's a great size too. I talked about sunglasses before, but I wanted to mention one other pair. It's by Dior. It's a pair of Dior aviators, mirror aviators. And they are really cool really fresh, really just sporty. You know when you're looking for the glam pair of sunglasses, but then you also want the really sporty pair, but you wanna have a pair that you really feel like comfortable in and that you can wear all day. This is that pair. They're so light on your face, it feels like air. It doesn't even feel like they're on your nose, which I happen to love. You can always adjust the way that they fit on your nose by adjusting the little nose pads and it's just a really cool pair of sunglasses. So if you're a lover of a high-end pair of sunglasses, I think these are really a great option. Okay, another pair of pants I wanted to show you is this pair of pink silky pants by Anine Bang. And so when I first saw these, I was like, hmm, and I think you'll have the same reaction. It's a little bit tricky. It's a tricky color. It's a different style of pant. How are you gonna wear them? How are you gonna style them? And so like the more I sort of started playing around with them, the more I was like, oh, I really love these. These are really fresh and fun. I decided to style them with a bralette. This one's by Free People. It's white and then also a really chic white ponty knit Gibson blazer from Nordstrom that I showed you in my favorites under 100 video. And then on my feet, a pair of white greats sneakers. I know some of you are gonna go, oh, those pants are too long because they do look too long, but I actually like that they're pooling at the bottom. I think that gives it more of an effortless, cool vibe, and you could easily swap out the sneakers for a pair of like espadrilles or heels or booties, something with a bit of a heel. But I really wanted to show you this more effortless, funky, cool way to wear these pants. Next, I wanted to show you a belt in a different color. I usually show you black and brown. I don't show you a lot of other options. So I thought for spring, let's look at a blush or pale pink color belt. This one is by Givenchy. And it's a little bit tricky to figure out how to fasten that belt to begin with. You're just not putting the excess belt behind the buckle. You're actually putting it through the buckle. So that's the difference. I always, with these belts, I will do a bigger size. So I go with an 85 and then I can do an additional couple of hole punches so that I can make it a waist belt or I can make it a hipster around the jeans. So that's kind of an easy way to do a two-in-one with the belt like this. But I just love this color for spring. So fresh, so pretty, so lovely. I absolutely love pink and I feel like blush is a great neutral you know it's surprisingly neutral and versatile and you can wear it with so many different colorways I just wanted to mention I paired the belt with some high-rise white crop jeans by frame uh, the same white sneakers by greats and then this really easy breezy knit jacket, also in a really pretty dusty rose kind of pale pink color. It just looks really feminine and fresh and I love that pink and white combo. Okay, the next two pieces I wanna show you are in this look. One is this gorgeous duster cardigan in this beautiful beige tone. I love the drama of the duster cardigan and if you live in a climate like I do where you do have a true spring and it even gets chilly in the summer, I will wear this all spring and summer long and I love pairing this beige tone with all white. Again, just feels so fresh, feminine, lovely, soft, 
so flattering. And then on my feet is a second favorite I wanted to highlight, and it's a pair of mules by Malone Soulier. These are gorgeous. I have ordered a few pairs of these and the sizing was a little bit tricky for me, but I did finally size up a half a size and that seems to have done the trick. So they run a little bit small. I happen to love the style of the mule because it's just easy to get on and easy to get off, but I also love this particular heel. The heel's not crazy high. There's this beautiful combo of camel and white together and I definitely will be wearing these a ton. I just love them so much. Where are we now? I think we're at 12 and 13. So the next two pieces I wanted to show you, one is a free people white short sleeve blouse. This blouse I just think is so lovely. It's like, again, another elevated basic. So it's a little bit basic in the sense that it's a white blouse for spring, summer, but it's not so basic in the sense that it has all these interesting details. Firstly, it's got a ruffle shoulder. It has a bit of a mock neck at the top. There's some lace detailing at the top. There's pleating. It's not so fitted to the body, so it's very forgiving, it's very free, and I love during those hotter months to have fabric that's not so close to your skin or to have the option of that. And I also love to wear a blouse like this that has such great coverage both with the sleeves and with the chest with a pair of shorts. So when you do wear shorts, you feel a bit more comfortable when you have a top that's slightly more covered up. So this is just a beautiful, lightweight, easy breezy spring summer blouse. And then the other piece I wanted to show you with this blouse is this frame peplum cargo jacket. You guys may remember this one, I've had it for a little while, but it's still going strong and I definitely will pull it back out for spring. Peplum really creates a feminine twist and gives it much more femininity and I think sophistication, but it still has an ease about it because it is a cargo jacket. And so this is just such a beautiful spring jacket to have. And with those two, with the blouse and the jacket, just wearing a pair of high rise crop jeans by Good American and on my feet, a pair of Sam Edelman leopard print flats that are quite comfortable. Next up, we have another beautiful flowy dress. This one is by Sancia, which I did not know they made clothes. I do have one of their bags. And what I love about this dress, besides the fact that it's just so flowy and free and beautiful, is that it has thicker straps on the top, so you can wear a traditional bra with it if you'd like. It does have a bit of a plunging neckline, so you may have to consider that. Either wear a pretty like black bra with it that has a little bit of lace peeping out, or you could do a bralette, you could do a tank, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. When I first saw this and pulled it out of the box, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like a giant tent. And then when I put it on, I was like, oh, I just love it. And it's got such movement and it's so glamorous and beautiful. And like I could see wearing this if you're pregnant, if you're just post-pregnant, if you've got some tummy, if you, or if you just wanna feel glamorous on the beach, right? On my feet with this dress, I just have on a pair of slip-on saludos. And these saludos actually are my next top pick I wanted to show you guys because they're just so comfortable, but then they're also so chic. I feel like sometimes you don't wanna wear open toe sandals. You just feel like you just wanna keep your feet covered up. I think this is an ideal shoe for those of you who do occasionally wanna pull out a sandal or shoe with more coverage in the spring, summer months. I love the gold tone. They're flat, but they're not super flat, so they have like a little bit of support. And it's just a really versatile, neutral shoe, but has that pop with the gold color. Let's dive into the swimsuit section, pun intended. The first swimsuit I wanted to show you is one by Becca that is crochet and a beautiful blue color, like feels like the beach, right? The sky, the ocean, the way the crochet is done, it is very strategic so that it really creates an hourglass shape and creates curves. For me, I'm a rectangle shape, which means I don't have a lot of definition. And so these suits are amazing because they do create the waist for me. If you already have a waist, it's just gonna accentuate that. So it's just a very figure flattering suit for many of us and it makes you feel very secure. You don't feel like you're gonna fall out of it. You feel like you can easily swim and dive and do all the things in it. And it's just glamorous and beautiful, right? And then with this suit, I wanted to show you the next piece. 
This Max Mara Pario or Perio. This is a piece you can wear a zillion ways. It's just basically a giant piece of fabric. There are a bunch on Nordstrom.com, by the way. This one is on the pricey side, but we will put some options for less as well. This one is just really beautiful with this suit with all of those blue tones and the greens and the whites. And so a couple of different ways you can wear this Perio is you can obviously just tie it around the waist and wear it kind of as a skirt. You also can put it behind your back, bring the two ends to the front, and then tie it around your neck so it's a halter dress, which is quite chic and lovely and sexy. And then you also can do the same thing, bring it around the back, the two ends in the front, tie it just over the bust, and then tie it behind your neck. So you still have that halter neck effect, but you have the added detail of the tie at the bust. There are literally a zillion ways you can tie a perio, but those are just a few that I would probably lean toward or go toward. Those are go-tos for me. The next swimsuit I wanted to show you is a super glam and gorgeous swimsuit. I love a little drama on the beach, and this one does not disappoint. It's by Joanna Ortiz, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It is black, it has a one shoulder ruffle detail, so just one giant dramatic ruffle on one shoulder. The other shoulder is normal, like a regular strap. And then there's this beautiful braided belted waist to really highlight that waist. What this suit does is all the right things for me, a rectangle shape, because of the drama at the shoulder, it builds up the shoulder detail, which widens the shoulder. And then because of the belt, the roping of the belt, it creates more of a waist. So it really does create the illusion of an hourglass shape for my body. And I just think it's so beautiful and lovely. The last swimsuit I wanted to show you is one by a line called Blue, B-L-E-U. And this suit is a real stunner. I love it. It's super sexy with the lace up and the grommet. I love the brown color. Um, and also you're gonna feel so secure in it. You're gonna be like, oh, but Erin, the girls are gonna be out and da 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 da. And am I gonna feel like uncomfortable in it? You're gonna feel so secure in it. Some swimsuits you just feel really taken care of in them. It's one of those suits. It has a great structure to it. So you'll love it. It's a real stunning piece. And then the one last piece I wanted to show you is another cover-up option. And so if you don't want to do a perio, maybe you want to do a traditional cover-up. I did find a beautiful one by Elan. It's a crochet duster cover-up, so it's very long. But what I love about it is, besides that it's just dramatic and beautiful, is that it does tie in the front, so it's easy to get on, easy to get off. It has sleeves, so it doesn't really matter what type of swimsuit you wear with it. It's going to cover up the swimsuit. And then it has length and the sleeve, so you're getting that sun protection as well. I usually order a small on this line, but they didn't have the small, so I ordered the medium. I'm so happy that I did that because I actually feel like the medium feels better for me. It just, I feel like it gives me a little bit more breathing room, and I like the room around the sleeves. I like the room in the body. So totally up to you, I'd say true to size, but if you want to size up, it, you'll still enjoy a size up, basically. Those are your 20 standout fashion finds from Nordstrom. All links will be below in the description box. Huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. Does that help you guys? Does that kind of help you kind of just get the like excitement going for spring and figuring out what you're going to do with your wardrobe and what you can, you know, add in there just to give it a little bit more excitement? I will be doing a full Bahamas trip video coming up. So if you want more vacation inspired picks, that's coming including swimsuits. And I'm gonna do a separate video about swimsuits for different body shapes and talking about what to look for for different body shapes. That's coming as well. So I just wanted to give you kind of like a quick flash of some of the things that I'm looking at that I really have found that I'm excited about for spring and hopefully help you with your spring summer shopping, kind of get you jazzed up about it. Do you have questions? Please comment below. Do you have a piece that you found that you think is amazing? Share it with us in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.